I saw this old ride listed for sale Ten years old and it looked like hell All my friends said don't, I replied, oh lord It's an F-150 long bed Ford It stores my tools, can haul a load But it drinks up gas and now I'm broke well, I jack it up, put on, lift it off Road tires with B-Logs on Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? Does the mud, it well as the sand, it defines me who I am. It's more than practical, it's a statement. If you ever think I'll say it, good luck. American made, and it's my truck. So, this is the end of the video, but I'm gonna do a walk around of her. Um, so come over here, you switch that switch, that switch on. Got white tail light and two red lights. Then you come over here, you flip that switch, and headlights are on. This switch is for my blue lights in there. They're just not hooked up right now. Actually, they're kind of broken, so yeah. But, um, obviously, she's got a battery in her. This was actually a battery out of a zero turn. My grandpa's zero turn and kept dying on them. But I charged, she took charge, so we'll see how long she lasts. Um, this is my wiring job. I have a YouTube a video up of all my wiring, I think. Um, got that sticker. This sticker, the one in, like, a pinkish, is for my cousin, because he always hit me. Then that one I got from my cousin. Um, this is bad. You hear my tire leaking. I gotta get... I wanna get mud tires for this. Actually, I might be buying my mud, cousin's mud tires for this. Not sure yet. It's up to him. Um, gotta hook up my foot throttle. Not done that yet. The carb is low messed up, so it's kinda hard on this motor. But as you see, she runs and drives, um... So I'm pretty much going to go over to everything done to this, um, custom steering arm, just a piece of whatever you want to call this, met steel, I think it is, welded up a bolt, don't mind that's a little loose, but it's fine, <laughs> it is fine, it will be fine, then, same thing up here, actually this is just straight, and on this I found, because I made a bent one that was just like the old steering arm, same thing, just longer, I didn't get all my steering, but this, with this steering arm, don't mind my front end. Got all that, then all of that. So, got full steering, um, right there. What I did, I, I know I already went over this, but I just want to, just in case people didn't see this video, the old videos of doing this, um, this frame was out of a Craftsman 2000, and this is, this frame, the stock frame on this. And what I did was I cut the stock frame, bent it out, bent it back, pushed this in, bent it back in on both sides, welded that up, welded her all the way across on top. And then actually my cousin did that. I don't know if you can see it up there. My cousin did most, all of that. Um, stock pulley, she actually flies, but stock pulley, uh, not stock transmission. She's got a six speed transmission in her. Um, then I put this little metal plate up on here just because something to cover this hole and my uh, winch mount's gonna go right there. Um, winch works. Um, I can show you guys quick. Kind of gonna be hard one handed, but. As you can see, she works. As you can see, she works. Wireless remote. Got to hold the button, turn her off. Then this remote is for my LEDs that aren't exactly working right now. Get this back in there. Got two ammo boxes mount on, mounted on her. Um, got this, even though it's out of place right now, because I always, I used to always pop my steering. Got this little back rack on her. Got this little right there. Uh, got. The main things that are done to her obviously is the extended front end it goes right there and then my bumper is added on and then six speed transmission put in her and a new 10 horsepower motor the original 10 horse that was in this which is original motor was 10 horsepower the starter mount broke off so yeah um not on the starter um the mo on the motor so and i cannot get it to weld to it so there's that um but this is just right now for now probably gonna stay like that. It's got a muffler on her. Stock muffler. It's probably gonna stay like that. Um it's missing the back please piece. That could be causing it not to run good too. 
Not really though, because that's just more airflow, but there's supposed to be a piece on these cards. I watch videos on them right there. Um, uh, new uh, coil. Um, the old one was all messed up and I, the old one was complicated, weird wiring and stuff. So yeah. Um, but another reason why this thing probably goes fast is because of these huge ass tires. Um, those ones right there are the stocks. Those ones right there, those tiny things. So yeah. Um, I do have two fender players for the back too. If you guys watch my old videos, you would know. Um, see my first button wants to work. Solenoid. I've been jumping the solenoid. It's been sitting for a while. That's why it does that. The solenoid should work. Start working again. No, that's what this. It's weird. This one, you'll if you let it sit for like a month, for long periods of time, um, you will have to jump start it. Like jump the solenoid like ten times, and then it'll start working. I don't know if it'll do that this time, but it happened to me twice. So yeah. Um, but I don't know what else to tell you guys about this one. Um. That's about it. I mean, like I gotta fix that too. There's a screwdriver in there right now. It's not bolted on. That's why there's play in there because the metal ain't put together. It's just a screwdriver. Um, this is cut out for the six speed though. We got a six speed peerless in her. Um, actually, it came out of this. A square. It's behind there. It's a square body. It came out of. I don't feel like walking over there. But um. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, like I said, I think there's a video on my wiring already on my YouTube channel somewhere. Um, actually, I think I did a video putting the transmission in. I know I didn't video much of building this and stuff. I know I did a little bit, but not much. But I did as much as I could by myself. Um, it's kind of hard to video by yourself when you just have a phone to video with. But um, this right here is actually what the uh, motor that's in that came out of right here came out of this some old simplicity i didn't really want to but i wanted a motor for this thing if i could ride it because i really wanted to ride this thing so badly so yeah so this project all i gotta do is build steering stops and this project will be done pretty much besides mud tires so next project will be i'll come over here it's gonna be uh old betsy this is old betsy um that's going to be a project two in there. Who knows? Maybe I'll move on to that next. I don't know. Maybe. I... So how about this? I'll let you guys decide. Should I do the wheel horse project first? Which actually the motor is right there that I'm putting in her. Um, don't mind the t-shirt that's covering her up right now. But she runs with a zip tied carburetor to her. But um, I don't know if I'm going to put that in. That's, about the only, that's the only motor I can put in it really right now. Unless I made it bottom shaft. But uh, side shaft. Um belt's actually still here so i'd like to use this so it's either this project next because this is a project so build this one next old betsy next or the craftsman racer next um i know it's called the craftsman racer but it's probably gonna be turned into a mud mower because i mean i'm not sure yet it could still be turned into a racer i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do with it yet but, you know, I already got my grandpa's racer that I ride a lot because he can't really ride it too much. So, you know, and I'm not too worried about having a racer because I always could ride my grandpa's when I want pretty much as long as he lets me. Well, I, I have to ride it because I got to keep it going. But also for old Betsy, I uh, bought a new piece. The whole thing up here is there. And somehow, actually off my cousin, I found one of these, these things are kind of hard to find to fit perfect actually these things are actually hard to find too there's only one of these mowers that have these all the other ones are just metal these ones are plastic the metal ones are welded right like the, it's built into the hood so these are kind of hard to find luckily my cousin got one though because mine where is my hood to this thing i don't even know where my hood is so that explains how long it's been i honestly have no clue Oh, it's right there. Um, you come over here. I was stupid, and I cut mine, as you can see. Because I had a light bar on it that actually never worked right. Because I blew it. So, I cut it to put the light bar on. So, yeah. So, that one's all messed up. But, you know. So, while I'm back here, I might as well show you. That's what that six-speed came out of. I know it's a long video, but 
I like talking about stuff. I, I don't really make videos a lot, so I might as well make them worth it. But leave in the comments below. I know there ain't a lot of people that seem to watch my videos, but the people that do watch my videos, leave in the comments below what build I should do next. I want to do Old Betsy next, but I also got this decision between doing a wheel horse next or the square body next. So leave in the comments below. Oh yeah, peace.